Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> Sorry for the sound of the lawnmower in the background. Wait, seriously? Hey DC, hi there. Hi. So the loon's nest is straight ahead. Um, we're actually very close to a lot of residential areas, a lot of lake houses. But this is where the loons chose to nest. That's why they were so hard to find. They usually nest in a much quieter area. So they're actually straight ahead. Um, some people actually saw me paddling over here and they were like, oh my gosh, watch out, the loons are gonna attack you. Because she's actually sitting on the nest right now. She's straight ahead. So I had a bunch of people warning me. <laughs> New York. Hi. How are you? So we're looking for the loons. They're nesting straight ahead over there. Hi. Hello. I can't read the gray part because the sun glare is so... It's... There's too much of a glare. I can't believe they nested over here. Hey, it's the hummingbird guy. Yeah, the loons are nesting right over here and the state hasn't put the signs up yet. It's 90 degrees here right now. And you can probably hear me really well. I don't have a microphone, but the echo from the kayak, right? So, I don't want to get too close, but I really have, exactly. So the babies won't be born until the end of June, early July. But I, I came by here earlier in a power boat and I actually saw the loon sitting on the nest. I don't see her now. Which actually kind of makes me nervous. I have been attacked by birds three times in my life because I put myself in this situation. Usually related to their nests. So I've been attacked by a blue jay, which they are really scary. A mockingbird actually chased me on land, like a foot, a foot raised kind of, chased me into the bushes. So, you know, when you put yourself in these situations, you're kind of used to being, you know, attacked. Yeah. Well, we're going to see them, but they're not there right now, I don't think. So this is a little disappointing. Like, I have to all the way over here to show you. I don't know why they chose to nest here because this is a really busy part of the lake. It's There's a lot of uh, residential areas here. There's actually even a bench right there that people can sit on. So it's surprising to me that they chose to nest here, honestly. But everyone on the lake that lives on the lake knows that the loons are here because they were all warning me on my way over here. You're going to get attacked. I wouldn't paddle over there. The state hasn't put up signs yet. So you'll see later, if you follow me, you'll see the state will put up signs saying loons nesting, stay away, basically, because they don't want you to be attacked. <laughs> but it's, it's too early. Hmm. This is really interesting. They're not on the map. Should we get closer? What do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't know if I can handle a fourth bird attack. This is Suncook Lake in New Hampshire. Yeah, closer. Sure, easy for you to say. This is pretty close. I have the camera pretty much focused. The center of the camera is where the loons are nesting. They're right behind that tall grass right there. And when I drove by here in the power boat earlier, because I was looking for them all along the lake, um, she was actually sitting on the nest and I could see her black head, but she's not there now, which is a little scary because she's going to, she's going to come home and find me here. She'll probably come up on me from behind, right? Yes, I'm in a kayak. Look at the name of my kayak, people. It's the Loon Kayak from Old Town. 
Zoom in, sure. She's not on the nest. Ooh, hold on. It's hard to paddle and zoom and do all that stuff, but hold on. I'll do my best. There we go. So basically, the loons are nesting right in there. When I came by earlier, you could see their heads. And if they were there, they would be flapping their wings by now because I'm way too close. Oh no, you can see her. Do you see her? I actually, I just see her now. She's right there. Oh my God, I can't believe she let me get this close. Holy crap. Look, do you see her? Can you see her? She's straight ahead. She's black and white with some speckles. I'm looking right at her through the camera. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. You have to really, oh my gosh. Can anyone see that? I'm looking right at her. I mean, she's really camouflaged. Like it's a really good place for a nest actually. Yes, I know, I love them too. She's got her head down. Whoa, I'm drifting a little. You see her, great. I know, she's like staying very still. She's probably just trying to uh, stay hidden. She doesn't want to get, she doesn't want to fight. So that's the loon's nest, guys, and she's laying on her nest. If you look very carefully right where I have the camera focused, you will see her. She's black and white. Her head is black and she has primarily white feathers with black. Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. Yeah, she's seen me many times for sure. She's used to this red kayak. When they get attacked at night, like at, in the evening, it's incredible the sounds they make. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. They're the most beautiful creatures and they make the best sounds. The ringtone on my phone is a loon's call. That's how much I love loons. I just love them. I'm backing up a little because I don't want to scare her. Yeah, and I might, you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to try to pick my camera up out of the tripod and zoom in so you can see better. But I want to get further away first. So I don't I don't want to scare her. I dropped my phone in the water because so I don't have a case. On. I don't like the waterproof cases because you can't see. Ah! There she goes. Okay, there she goes. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm backing up. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm leaving. Okay, there she is. She is mad now. <laughs> Everybody see that? Paddling away. Getting away from the nest. <laughs> yes, I'm kayaking. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> it's a loon, people. It's a loon and she's mad at me. She's yelling at me right now. I was backing away when she got mad. <laughs> but the people on the shore are laughing at me because they knew it was going to happen. They were all watching me. She's following me. She's beside the kayak that I'm paddling, so I can't really, I can't hold my phone. <laughs> She's swimming right beside me because she wants to make sure I'm swimming away from the nest. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to pick up my phone in a minute and show you, but I want to get far enough from away from the nest so she doesn't feel scared. Yes, it's a lake. I will. She's she's still flapping her wings at me though. She's pissed. <laughs> she's pissed, exactly. And I knew it was gonna happen. I mean, I knew it. I was surprised I was able to get so close. Seriously. Okay, she dived under the water. I have no idea where she is. She's pretty mad. <laughs> that was sweet. bird attack. Yeah, kind of like birds, exactly. No, that was the mockingbird attack. Really, the mockingbird attacked me like on my head. Because I got too close to the nest. That's what happens when you like to get close to nature. Nature strikes back. Just be careful. Oh, 
she's under the water, so I have no idea where she is. But I'm pretty far away from this now. I mean, she should be able to get the point. Seriously. Okay, Look the people on the shore who are like, laughing at me. I wish I could pick my phone up, but I can't yet. I want to. She's still like flapping her wings at me. So I, I want to make sure she's comfortable first. <laughs> Try it now. letting me know. There she is. She's straight ahead. Do you see her now? <gasps> She's peeing. her off. <laughs> I totally pissed her off. I'm sorry I interrupted her nap. I can't take pictures. I have my camera in a non-waterproof case. I'm gonna save the replay. Yeah, she's back. She wants me to follow her. She wants to be like her, uh, her uh, nest so for too long. So I'm leaving now. Thank you for sharing that with me. I hope everyone enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm gonna just paddle away really fast now, mostly because I don't want to stress her out. I know she's trying to protect her nest, and I just wanted a view. Uh, and I'm so glad I didn't get attacked. You're gonna go over to go on river tomorrow morning to try to catch your scope. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad I was I'm, I can't believe I have a signal. See, they're nesting in an area that's so residential that I can catch a signal there. Usually where they nest, I can't catch a signal. So I guess that's a good thing. 
Okay, ciao everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. That was so fun. I think she's calm now because I haven't heard her in a while. I want her to go back to her nest. I don't want to stress her out. I don't see her at all anymore. Ciao. Love you guys. Love my parrot family. Thanks for watching.